former chief of NSE Chitra Ramkrishna during her interrogation on Friday by the Central Bureau of Investigation told the agency to ask the National Stock Exchange why her laptops and other devices in her use during her tenure as the exchange's MD and CEO were destroyed as e-way. According to sources, Ramkrishna appeared calm and composed during the questioning which lasted for a few hours. She, however, did not provide any further details on the mysterious yogi who she had claimed was guiding her in running the affairs at NSE, one of the world's biggest with a market capitalization of $4 trillion. Sources said she remained silent on questions related to the yogi. She also told the CBI officials that her visit to Seychelles was official. A recent SEBI order had revealed that India's largest stock exchange allowed Chitra's laptop to be destroyed as e-waste when it could have contained vital proof, including the IP address of the mysterious yogi who sent her multiple emails over several years instructing her on various operational matters of the exchange. An earlier forensic audit showed that only Ramkrishna and the then chief operating officer Anand Subramanian were imaged slash checked while the laptops assigned to them were disposed of as e-waste by NSE. Even their personal emails were not available for forensic audit. Legal experts told Businessline that whenever scandals or major irregularities involving senior officials surface at sensitive market infrastructure institutions and regulatory bodies like the NSE, their digital footprints and traces have to be preserved until the matter is closed. It is not clear under what circumstances or under whose orders NSE destroyed Ramkrishna's devices. Ramkrishna was ousted from NSE in 2016 for her role in the co-location and algo trading scam and abuse of power in the appointment of Subramanian. The probe found that Ramkrishna ran NSE with impunity. No one from the senior management, board, or the promoters, which include big government institutions and banks, ever objected to her way. Instead, Ramkrishna was given 44 Indian rupees crore as pending dues and salary when she left NSE. Sebi had observed that there was a glaring conspiracy of a money-making scheme involving NSE's boss with the unknown person.